Hello everyone and welcome back to Phoenix and welcome back to Minecraft Story Mode Season 2 Episode 4. I don't want to say much, but all I, do, all I do know is that a ninja came out of nowhere and just caused us to go slow motion. So let's go ahead and get back into the gist. What the? Okay, right off the rip with the battle. Oh, what are those things? Oh, they make it look like he's going invisible. Look out from above! Dang. Oh my goodness. <sighs> yes. Only one person I know fights like that. Who are you? You are the real Jesse. Ivor! Ivor? Yo! Oh, yes! Let's go! We met Ivor once again. Your friend Ivor. I'm a ninja now, Jesse! What? Yeah, what? It all started when I fell through a portal into some I sort war. of strange world. Everything was all white. Master Shadow's domain. He claimed he was a ninja master. This is insane. A practitioner of the shadow arts. At first, I wanted nothing to do with him. He was a very suspicious oh, character. But eventually, after a lot of uncomfortable eye contact, he asked me, me, to be his pupil. I was confused at first because he didn't exactly present his credentials or curriculum, but I'm always open to learning. I'm a student of life after all. So I said yes. Before I knew it, I was punching trees. Can you finish, please? please hurry up now. All this part of my so-called training. At first, it seemed pointless. But after I had punched a forest's worth of trees and cleaned miles and miles of floor, two things became clear. Sometimes, doing menial tasks can be an amazing way to learn martial arts. And sometimes, strange old men just like tricking people into doing their housework. <laughs> anyway, it all worked out because now I'm a ninja. And my newfound ninja skills helped me find my way to you. Are you... are you done? Please, please be done? <laughs> yes! I suppose I'm doing... That's your bro. I just had a lot to say after all of that quiet and mysterious business. It's so good to see you. This is insane. Oh, you know you missed me. Right back at you. You are like the last person I expected to see down here. Bottom five at least. What are you doing down here? Let me explain. You see, it all started when Harper and I returned from our vacation. We discovered that while we were gone, you had mysteriously vanished. After fighting a prismarine giant named the Admin. Oh, God. Um. Right. Only to return. Having defeated this Admin and taken his amazing powers. Wait, what? Yeah, that's not right. I mean, you didn't believe it, right? I did at first. How could I not? Looked like you, sounded like you, except now you could fly around and had all sorts of cool superpowers. Jesse, a.k.a. the admin, gave me this and told me he had reprogrammed it to find the fraud, a.k.a. you. But with my new ninja's senses, <clears throat> I could tell something wasn't right. Anyone who disagrees, anyone who questions Jesse, disappears. Okay. Oh, they must hate me. It's certainly not helping your reputation. No. But I knew that Jesse, the real Jesse, would never act like that. That's why I decided to try and use this opportunity to discover the truth. Luckily, it worked out. Because I would have felt terrible about killing you. Jesus, chill. Classic thing to say to your friends. Ivor, even coming from you, that is one dumb plan. <laughs> yep. Oh, give me a break, would you? The admin has made everything very confusing. I'm a 
desperate man. Speaking of whom, I can't spend much more time down here. Why not? If I don't get back to the prison soon and report in, the admin will know that something isn't right. That's perfect. You can make up a lie and you'll never suspect that I'm actually down Which here. Which will buy you the time you need to find Fred's weapon. Hold on! How'd you know about I'm that? I'm a ninja. Anyway, that plan is all well and good. But what exactly should I tell the admin? It that we're dead. It needs to be plausible, but dramatic. I tell him that I escaped, but that you trapped me down and took me out. Yes, I'm sure he'll be delighted by the description of our epic confrontation. Your final desperate struggles to cling to a fading reality. You're a real poet, Ivor. Ninja! I'm sorry I can't stay longer, but I must go. Go. We'll see you when we get back to the surface. No, oh, wait, can I borrow that amulet? Oh, Certainly, great. The Order's why? amulet. All the way back from cha uh, season chapter one. Long story involving a portal and a magic frame, but it'll help us get home. Please Hopefully. Hurry. It's getting dire up there. Smoke bomb! <laughs> he actually disappeared. Ah. That way, anyway. You saw nothing. Got we it. all just saw that, right? I, I didn't, like, hallucinate Ninja Ivor. Yep. Ah. Just when I thought that crusty dude couldn't get any weirder. And we're ready to roll. Come on, guys. All right, let's Shazam. What in the world is this place? Oh, it's Romeo Berg. I think it is. I can tell because all the red. Looks like the compass is pointing right to that building. Oh, good. It only sounds like there are a few thousand big scary people between us and there. Alt! You there! What business have you? I all uh, business. think we need to go into that building behind you. If that's okay. Uh, you know, it is in fact not okay, okay? Now just move along, and don't go anywhere near the building, or we will sick our army on you. Or we'll sick our army on you. We don't want to unleash the force of our army, and it's a mighty army. I fought creepers, zombies, a giant computer, a wither storm. Bring out your army, we can take it. You are not leaving. Oh, you will regret not leaving after you've tasted the wrath of our mighty army. Uh, that's weird. It's not weird. The army just, just, uh, took a power nap. Now they're stronger than ever. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks to their nap. Yeah. We're not gonna ask they're, you again, They're not strong, right? are they? They're just... You just <laughs> our they're just normal people that want to be let out. ...makes you regret it. We're gearing up. Yeah, it's the biggest army you've ever heard. Right here. Did you not hear me? I said bring it on. I'm ready to fight this army of yours. Well, now I know one of the decisions. Oh, it's an audio oh. disc. <laughs> and they're happy to take you on, uh-huh. But, uh, they're still getting ready, and it's gonna be a while. And you'll just get bored waiting, so you should probably just leave. <sighs> All right, we we don't have an army, exactly. Mm, yeah, I know, but uh, still can't let you in. Sorry. Really, it's for your own good. That building you're pointing at? That's Romeo's challenge. Bring it on. Yeah, it's nothing more than a death trap. The worst kind of trap. Which is why we vowed to keep everyone out. Even relentless travelers like you. I mean, you should thank us for keeping you away from it, okay? We're doing you a solid. I escaped Romeo's highest security prison, the Sunshine Institute. Whoa. I think I can handle some little challenge. Whoa, that's hardcore. Whoa, yeah. Anyone who escaped that place? Mad props. Open! The gate! On it! No, Soup. The, the gate. Yeah, the, the real gate. Right! 
on it. All right. Another plain llama. Whoa, weird llama. What are they doing? <laughs> Negotiating terms. Llama too. Oh, she's not my pet. She's my pack animal. She just holds my stuff. You're a strong, independent llama. You don't need to define your life with a pet owner relationship. Everyone enters a mysterious challenge room, then never comes out. We'll do that. I, uh, <laughs> suppose that, uh, might affect population levels a little. Uh, we still don't feel good about permitting you in the challenge room, especially Why not? unarmed. But we'll trade you some gear if you can build something to scare why did, off why is it always Why does it always result to building, bruh? You know, like a snowman or a huge flower. Just. <sighs> Make something that will help us strike fear into the hearts of all who would see it. You Two know what? I'm placing one back. block. So I'm not. I don't have time for building. Me time. I'm straight up just placing a block. Crazy redstone. Hey, uh, that's a uh, that's a choice. I mean, it's kind of scary if you squint your eyes in. Yeah. Well. <laughs> I guess I should have said it has to be good. But a deal's a deal. <laughs> Told you, bro. All I had to do was place one block. <laughs> Yo! Alphabetized, not even sorted by material? This is barbaric! This is what we managed to salvage from the goofballs. <clears throat> uh, I mean, residents who tried entering? Treasure sniffing llama, eh? Yeah, treasure sniffing lava for sure. Um. Hmm. I like this one. It covers both. Um. Well, actually. Yeah, I like this one. It covers both shoulders and the chest. That one's pretty cool. I like it. And shadoop. And then shadow. Oh yeah. Good luck you for sure. Doomed souls. Good thinking, Luna. We'll be back for you soon. I hope. <laughs> Get splash. Those plates release waterfalls upstairs. It's so calculated, so precise. Judging by the multiple pressure plates, there's some complex engineering behind these walls. Wouldn't expect anything less from the guy who made an icy palace of despair. I know, right? I think this was meant for the three friends, Romeo, Zara, and Fred. How do you guys feel about pulling some mystery levers and seeing what happens? Oh, 
The admin designed all this just for his friends? Are you ready for the most thrilling, death-defying, heart-pounding challenge you've ever experienced? I sure am. I got my controller ready. What is it? What are these things? No idea. Iron golem Friendly. things. Great. Another golem. This time made of magma. Ray yay. Wow, Whoa. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. 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 Poking fire might not be the best idea. We've gotta try yeah. something else. Yeah. Take that, overgrown barbecue! Oh! Jesse, water turns lava into cobblestone. Yes, we gotta get them under it. Good idea. Right, golems, time to get soaked. And then... Let's go! There goes one. Mine in time. Congratulations, challenges. Stage one of six hundred. Six hundred. What? Stage two. And begin. Why six hundred? We're making it to stage six hundred. Three levers got us into this, so. So maybe those three levers will stop it. Let's try and get up there. Come on, Radar. Let's bust that machine. What a slide. Oh, that's just sad. R.I.P. Radar, you have to break the machine. I'll cover you. On it! Thank you, Petra. Nice. Come on, come on, come on! Why don't you come with instructions? Ah! You just destroy. <laughs> Okay, before I do this, I just want to end part three real quick and just be surprised by what's going on with what the heck is happening. Stage 600 is going crazy. And I don't know how I'm going to beat this, but I'm going to have to try my absolute hardest to. Because this is going to be the hardest stage that I have ever done. Hard, probably, most likely the hardest thing I've ever done other than fighting the Weatherstorm in Minecraft Story Mode Seasons 1 and 2 combined.